Hello people, in this video let's see how to install Python uh, interpreter on your system. Before doing that, I want you to know on what system you are trying to install. What is the architecture of the operating system you are running. To do so, I want you to go to this PC. Uh, once you have done that, go to a blank place, right click and go to properties. Can you see this? Right. So once you have clicked properties, this particular window will open up and under system type, you will see the uh, architecture operating system architecture on which you are trying to install okay in this case in my case it is 64 bit operating system so once you have made a note of it i want you to close everything and go to your favorite browser uh, whichever it might be and uh, go to google right uh, once you have done that i want you to type this search string which says um, python 3 download right uh, once you are here i want you to click on this particular hyperlink which says download python python.org just to make sure the hyperlink uh, is for the website www.python.org which you can confirm in this particular point right so here you can confirm the same and i want you to go ahead and click on this hyperlink and once you have done that it redirects you to the uh, official website of python so yeah i want you to download the latest stable version of the python in this case in this particular website they have uh, uh, designed the website so that the it detects your platform automatically in this case it has automatically de detected that the system on which i'm trying to install is windows as i'm running the browser on windows platform so I'm just going to uh, click on the download button and yeah, uh, you're, you're having your uh, uh, interpreter executable file being uh, downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and save it in softwares, right? Once I do that, it is uh, roughly of 25.5 MBs and I want you to download this. Uh, basically, this is uh, an interpreter, uh, an environment uh, which executes uh, Python scripts, right? So mm, there are many uh, releases, specific releases. If you are preferring uh, Python 2.x versions of interpreters, you can go ahead and download this. If you are you know, those, if you are uh, preferring uh, Python 3.x versions, you can go ahead and download uh, the executable files and uh, installation files here. Right in the in this case, let's go ahead with the latest stable version of uh, the interpreter. So once it is downloaded, I want you to click on this. Right. Okay. Here I want you to uh, be very careful. I want you to check this box which says uh, which is against add Python 3.8 to path. This is very very important. So I want you to go ahead and check this box. Okay. So make sure both of these uh, options are checked uh, just in case if you have multiple users running. Um, it's it's better to have an option like that, right? So uh, I want you to not mess around uh, much by going into customize installation. It, it lets you choose the destination uh, for installation folder of your choice. I don't want you to do that. I just want you to uh, install it in the normal way, uh, in, in the default way. Uh, yeah, uh, having said that, I want you to go ahead and click on install now. So uh, it, it asks for security uh, uh, user, ac uh, user account control. So I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. So this installs the interpreter in both 32-bit uh, and 64-bit compatible versions. So as the setup is in progress, you can see Python is being installed. Right. So I wanted you to discover the platform on which you are running, whether it is 64-bit or 32-bit, because just in case if, uh, if you would need it uh, in a later point in time, and, and of course you'll be needing it um, when you install uh, VS Code or when you install uh, any other application, you'll, you'll want that data to be uh, remembered by you. Right? There are separate files for 32-bit architectures and 64-bit ar architectures. <laughs> 
uh, while this is in progress, uh, let's go ahead and try to install VS Code. VS Code will be your text editor uh, and uh, your uh, uh, that is basically the platform on which you are going to uh, write your code on. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and open your browser. Okay, so once it is open, go to Google and I want you to search this particular string. VS Okay, so once you have done that, uh, I want you to click this particular uh, hyperlink which says download Visual Studio Code Mac Linux mm, Windows. Just to make sure, uh, the site is code.visualstudio.com. So click on this particular hyperlink and let the official website load. So once it is done, as you can see here, uh, I'm I'm assuming that you are trying to install the application on Windows. If you are running Mac or if you are running Linux, then go ahead and download the corresponding uh, uh, set of files. Although in Linux, if you are running Linux, I don't recommend uh, you to install in this way. I want you to go ahead and uh, uh, you know install it in uh, using a sudo command, right? So as I'm running on Windows, uh, I'm I'm going uh, going ahead and uh, uh, clicking 64 bit. I, I, one more thing to be uh, made sure of is uh, under you, you have to click the uh, download link. Uh, in front of system installer, not the dot zip version or uh, not the user in uh, user installer. I want you to go ahead and click on 64 bit uh, or 32 bit, uh, whichever your system is running on, uh, is is running. I want you to click on that particular uh, hyperlink. So in my case, it is 64 bit. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and click on 64 bit. It redirects uh, me to the documentation page of uh, the uh, editor and so yeah uh, here it is asking me to download the uh, setup file which I'm not going to do because I have already downloaded it so yeah uh, I, I request you to go ahead and download the setup file completely so once you have done that yeah and before uh, yeah let it uh, download and here as you can see setup was successful right so yeah just close it and once the setup file is downloaded vs code i want you to go ahead and uh, navigate yourself through the uh, file structure um, file structure of your system and uh, yeah here it is uh, vs code user setup so i want you to go ahead and double click on it so that it can run yeah and i want you to uh, you know uh, click on the radio button which uh, says I accept the agreement and click on next and here is the most important step in the installation process I want you to check all the options uh, in this particular installer uh, all the all the options check boxes to should be checked in this particular step so once you have done that just go on uh, clicking next and install the application as you do in the normal way so as I've already installed, I'm not going to do the same. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the installer. So please, you please go ahead and install the application entirely. So once you have done that, now uh, just to summarize, you have installed your Python uh, interpreter and you have installed your text editor as well. So once you have done that, I want you to go, go to start and go to VS Code, okay? VS Studio Code, just, uh, open the application once you have done that i want you to click on this particular option towards your left on your left panel which says extensions all right so click on this particular particular extensions uh, extension and uh, okay so here you can see a search bar which which has popped up uh, i want you to type python into it all right so the very first option which is going to uh, be listing in your results should be clicked and yeah you know, just make sure that the developer or the publisher is microsoft right so uh, yeah okay uh, just a normal error all right so 
once you have done that uh, here in my case it has already been installed so in your case it will be uh, the the option will be install instead of disable and uninstall there will be an option which says install i wanted to go ahead and click on that particular option so that it can install so uh, the setup file is nearly i mean the extension is nearly uh, 30 to 40 mbps probably so mm, i wanted to patiently wait and uh, get it installed so once you have done that so yeah uh, just to be sure uh, go ahead and uh, create a new file and save it in uh, your documents right i wanted to go to your documents create a new folder naming uh, python tutorials right i want you to save all your uh, uh, files in this particular uh, folder okay yeah inside this i prefer you to uh, you know uh, make subfolders like day one okay whatever we do on day one just stuff it uh, inside this uh, particular directory so yeah i'm going to go ahead and save uh, this small application it says hello world okay and save as type is your python obviously okay so yeah, your file name without the extension .py and save type Python. Okay, I wanted to save this application and let's go ahead and write our first uh, application in Python, which is the iconic uh, application which says hello world. Right, so control S which saves the file and here. Uh, at the top right you can see a button which say uh, a play button okay uh, when you hover it it says run python file in terminal i want you to go ahead and click on this okay so once you have done that you have successfully executed your first python application which prints hello world onto your terminal how cool is that isn't it right so you have just made your uh, computer say hello world so congratulations on your first uh, application so this is pretty much it so you have just set up your environment and you have uh, set up your uh, 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 text editor so that you can type and ex execute your python applications so i hope everything uh, has gone smoothly if if you face any hurdles feel free to reach out uh, to me on the whatsapp group all right so Thank you. Peace out.